Hi everybody, my name is Nathan Adam, here with the Curb College at Belmont University, and I'm joined by... Patricia Chaffin, and I work here in the Registrar's Office. And today we're going to be taking you through a little bit of a tour of the Belmont website so that you can learn how to find and register for your classes. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to access your My Belmont account, and then we're going to go into Class Finder. So once we log in through the My Belmont account, we're going to get to our main dashboard. And over on the left-hand side, of course, we've got our launch pad uh, where you're going to find shortcuts to a lot of the applications or sections of the website that you're going to want to use when registering, when advising, when getting ready for classes every semester. So you'll find Class Finder and the launch pads on the left-hand side of your screen. So you'll just go ahead and click that. If you do get a pop-up window blocked in the top side, uh, occasionally you'll need to go in and unblock uh, pop-ups. So you can always search the web to see how to do that for your specific browser on Mac or PC. So for registration this summer, um, which is what you'll be here for um, in the upcoming term, you're going to want to make sure you're selecting the fall 2019 term. And if you're going to be an undergraduate or a new student, then you're going to want to select undergraduate. So you're going to want to make sure those two circles are selected first. Mm -hmm. It will pull up all of our subject headings, and so you can um, scroll down to pick out any subject heading that you are interested in. You can see any of these, but we'll just look at this accounting one. If you click on the subject, it pulls up all of the course offerings that we have for the fall in this particular subject. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just walk through this a little bit. This first number for all of these classes is called our CRN. It's the course registration number. You will need that during registration, so you want to make sure you are jotting that number down if you find a specific course that you want to register for. So in this case, they've got the CRN number that they'll actually use to register, whereas the class itself is going to generally have the same code and uh, section or kind of this main four-digit number every semester. The CRN changes for every single section every semester. Yes. Okay. Um, so you'll have your accounting quote code here. Then it will also tell you the course number and then the 0 .01, that's the section number. Mm -hmm. So you may have a bunch of different sections of the same course. You mm -hmm. can see all of those listed. Um, the next section is um, the title. And there will be other information in this section um, as well as the title. So it'll tell you if it's a full-term class, if it's a second eight weeks class, a first eight weeks class, if the class is linked with another class, you can mm -hmm. see that all of that information will be listed here. Very cool. Um, the next thing is the hours. So you can see how many hours are offered for each course. This top one is three hours, the next one's six, and so we'll tell you all of that. The next section will be the course, um, where the course is located. This is an abbreviation for the building, and then this is the room that the course is offered in. Then it will tell you the times for the course. So this course is offered 5.30 to 8.15, so you can see when the class will start and when it will end. And then it will tell you what days the classes are offered. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is going to be the MWF. And then this class here, you can see the TR. This class is on Tuesday, Thursday. So the T is for Tuesday and the R is for Thursday. Okay. Um, you can also see how many seats are available in the class. So this class has 25 seats available and six people are registered for it. And then, of course, over on the right-hand side, the instructor for the course. Mm -hmm. So you can see the white um, sections at the top are all search boxes. Mm -hmm. And so you can search for any of these. If you want to search for a specific title, then you can go ahead and search, and it will pull up just those course options. So the next section of Class Fighter we want to look for is if you want to look at only open courses. Mm -hmm. So you would click on this tab. So um, open courses being classes that are not yet filled. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to search for sections that you could still possibly get into, especially if you're registering later in the process, go ahead and click on that open courses tab. Right. And then you can do the same thing. You can select the subject. And then if you're looking for a specific time, mm -hmm. if you want it after 8 a.m. or after 10 a.m., let's say. So you can search and you can search if you're looking for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday classes. Or let's say you're just searching for Tuesday, Thursday classes. Mm. So you can go in and search for those. Um, and then if you're looking for any credit hour, then you'll click Find Courses. And it will pull up all the courses off offered in your search parameters. So we're looking at the art subject, anything offered after 10 a.m., mm -hmm. and then on Tuesday, Thursday. So it pulls up all the open courses for those specific requirements that you have entered. Yeah. So this is a great way, obviously, of planning out your semester, especially if you're a freshman or you're coming in and you're trying to figure out what courses are going to be open during your optimal times. Go ahead and use this Open Courses tab. It's going to save you a lot of time. The next section we want to take a look at is this Bell Course Study Abroad Alternative Locations tab. Mm -hmm. um, and this is important because you are going to be registering for a first-year seminar um, during your first semester. 
And in order to search for that, you'll click on this. You'll want to make sure you're selecting the fall 2019 term as well. Mm -hmm. And then you can select first year seminar. And it will show you all of our course options for that specific seminar class that you will need during your first semester here at Belmont. And there's a whole lot of options in terms of that uh, particular class, obviously, because so many freshmen are going to be taking this first year seminar. Uh, so you can really look around for one that fits your days and time schedule. As you move through the program, you're going to notice these others, the introduction disciplinary learning communities, the junior cornerstone, and the senior capstone. Basically, at every one of the four years you're here at Belmont, there's going to be a required course or a couple of courses uh, that'll help you move through the specific aspects of the Belcor curriculum. Well, thanks for taking us through this overview of ClassFinder, Patricia. You're welcome. And you can go ahead and use this video uh, to jump into ClassFinder, help you go through and find the specific classes, sections, and times that you want to advance your curricular goals. We'll see you next time.